Hello everyone, Nubkex here. Welcome back to Nubraids. In today's video, I have two pieces of very exciting news for you to kick off the week here on Monday. The first one is the in-game bit of news. Actually, no, I've got three pieces of news. Hey, definitely three, maybe four, arguably. Um, the first one, uh, we're going to have an extra legendary event kicking off uh, tomorrow. That's right. So just double check. Yeah, the 16th of May, that is tomorrow. Uh, you pull a legendary from an ancient shard, you get a second one for free. It can only happen one time during this event. Probably going to be up for probably two days, I would guess. Bearing in mind, of course, we're going to be having 2x event for ancient shards this weekend upcoming. So uh, I've talked about before how this extra legendary event is actually the best way to get the most legendaries possible out of your ancient shards. You just get more doing this than you do from 2x events. So if you only care about legendaries, this is worth going for. I certainly think that, you know, after 200 summons without a legendary, you get a stacking 5% per shard uh, extra chance to pull a legendary. So after 220 or on your 220th summon, uh, you're going to have a 100% chance. You're definitely getting a legendary. That's the great thing about this extra legendary from ancient shard events. You can guarantee a legendary with enough shards for sure. Not too many, really, even in the scale of raid and how crazy things are with ancients and with uh, sacreds and voids. Ancients much easier. Um, rough rule of thumb, I would say if you are, you know, over 100 summons of that legendary and you have enough shards to max this out and guarantee a legendary champion, this is almost certainly worth going for. Uh, the opportunity cost is the main thing that you're looking at. That would be the 2x ancient event this weekend. You're going to miss out on some epics. And if you are going for Jetney, you might need to be doing that event for Jetney. I think a lot of people are Vetney. Is it Vetney or Jetney? I don't I don't remember. Some, for some reason, this name, I just can't click. It's Jetney. It is Jetney. Um, a lot of people skipping this event, it seems like. One of the least popular uh, fusions that, they've, that they've, they've done, really. Um, but yeah, uh, so I'm going to save enough shards for that. I'm going to be pulling in the 2x this weekend. Uh, doubly so because uh, this is always worth doing guys is tracking your own mercy system common question how do i track my mercy system and the answer number one you could use some computer programs like rsl helper and stuff like that to do it for you or you could just write down like a little notepad on your desktop or on your phone or something so last time i pulled was for duchess 10x i did get a legendary uh, so i'm three shards past uh, i'm nowhere near mercy so i'm just going to save shards uh, i'm going to pull for the jetney a 2x event just get enough pulls in that event for the fragments that i need and i'm going to save my shards then after that on the off chance that they ever bring back a guaranteed champion from ancient shards which i always really like doing i find them very fun they're also a great way to spend your shards but i haven't done one in ages and honestly this this buy one get one free as it were is uh really really good if you're close to mercy it's even pretty good if you're not close to mercy if you just care about legendaries and you've got lots of shards uh the one trap don't pull if you're not sure. If you are going to pull, like, if you are like me, right? If you're in a situation like me and you're going either, I'm way down my Mercy timer, I don't have enough shards to hit Mercy, and or number two, I don't know where I'm at at Mercy, you pull a bunch of shards and you don't get anything. I think that's what happens, really, to a lot of people as they go, I have no idea where I am. I haven't tracked my Mercy system at all. I don't have enough shards to get it, but I'm going to ignore those things because I really want double legendary. I'm going to pull everything, not get it, and then get really upset and say the event sucks. And it's like, okay, well, you know, you do you, but um, I don't know, dig your own grave as much as you want. And we'll, we'll leave you to it, <laughs> basically. Right, the other bit of news that we've got coming. Um, actually, before I talk about this, which is very exciting, Call of the Arbiter. The first episode goes live in three days and 32 minutes. So stay tuned for that coming later this week. Uh, that is going to be fun. There's going to be some promotions and stuff tied along with this. The big one is that they've already revealed that there's going to be a, a legendary champion, a login legendary coming with this. Uh, we've seen that it's going to be a dwarf from the trailers. You get like a little glimpse of the champion and it looks to be a dwarf. So most likely it's going to be this dwarf legendary. Will that come with episode one? Will it come with a later episode? I don't really know. I, w I wouldn't be shocked if it was just for episode one uh, and then seven day login and then watch episode two as well. Like, I don't know, something like that. So I think there's a pretty good chance we could have a, that login legendary start ticking down uh, from later this week. So that's pretty fun, um, especially seeing as the Jetney fusion is kind of underwhelming. It's something for people to look forward to, potential another legendary. Uh, the login legendaries are typically quite solid, actually. 
Um, sometimes they're even extremely good. The last few, I mean, Ronda and Ultimate Death Knight are both super good, even late game. Uh, so will it be up to that caliber or will it just be like a something like Deliana where it's like, oh, they're pretty solid. Not crazy, crazy, but pretty solid. We'll find out. Um, so there we go. That, that's potentially two pieces of news. Call the Arbiter kicking off and potentially a login champion with that. And then the final bit of news is the Hydra Creator Clash, which starts today. That is right. It starts today. In fact, if I click into this, it is starting in six hours. So I'll link this uh, in the description down below. You can come uh, watch the draft right here. But if you uh, caught the clan boss draft before, we had the Faction Wars tournament before that. Uh, then there was a, another clan boss tournament even before that, which I was not involved in. I don't think I was a content creator at the time. Um, but uh, yeah, it's starting today. Looking very cool. Where are we at? Um, I X off the thing. No, I didn't. I just made it small. There we are. Aha, make it big. So the content creator clash here for Hydra. It is uh, Deadwood Jedi is organizing and participating. I'm in it as well. Then we've got MTG Jedi, YST, Cold Brew, Hell Hades, Scratch, and Odd One Gaming as well. So I think actually a really good set of competitors. It's going to be pretty spicy, honestly. We've got a tournament bracket too. So we'll see. I feel like I'm probably going to end up as a fairly high seed, I hope, if the draft goes reasonably well. So I'm hoping I'll, I'll get at least pretty far in this, you know? Uh, but we'll see. What's going to make it spicy is that it's a snake draft. So, right, draft is a snake draft, uh, random order. But the point is that, you know, let's say I go in and I first pick Krisk. Nobody else has Krisk. And seeing as there's eight competitors, that's 48 different champions are going to be drafted here for Hydra. I think that makes it really hard, actually, to build a functional team. Like, someone takes Duchess, another person takes Inquisitor Shamail, and it suddenly becomes really difficult to deal with Head of Torment, for instance. So, how are you going to manage when there's eight people trying to steal all the best champs between them? It's going to be quite tough, I think, to build good teams, and the draft could be really wonky. So, I'm looking forward to it. But yeah, it's going to be tonight, 8 p.m. UTC. The link is there. Um, there's going to be a poll then. You can vote for who's going to be doing the best. Vote for me. That will be, uh, yeah, actually later today and tomorrow. Then it should be this Thursday and Friday. We'll have the first round. Next Monday will be the second round. And then the finale will be next Thursday or Friday. Friday or Thursday week. So in like a week and a half from now, which is pretty cool. So yeah, it's all going to be on Deadwood Jedi's YouTube channel. Um, and there'll be a whole bunch of stuff going on as well. Uh, Krizia, Grizor, Irongut are banned. I don't know. Let me know. Like, what do you think are going to be the top picks? I'm curious. These are the rules, right? What do you think are going to be the top picks? What do you think is going to be the best strategy? Like, go for damage dealers early? Go for supports early? You know, what do you lock in? It's do you lock in your reviver? Do you lock in, like, a speed manipulator? Hmm. It's all, it's all a big question mark. It's all a big question mark. My thoughts on it, honestly, are that I feel like no matter what you pick up first, you're going to have a hard time building a team no matter what. It's, you're still going to, your team's going to go wonky. With this many competitors, your team's going to go wonky. Uh, for sure. I'm curious what the sneaky picks will be. Like, I feel, hell, Hades, there's a pretty good chance he goes for Venus Cupidus. I know he really likes them. I think YST is probably going to go Snick Track. Hmm, stuff like that. Um, Scratch, definitely not going to use any Void Legendaries. You know, it's going to be a cool thing. Uh, <laughs> so we'll see. Uh, but yeah, there we go, guys. That is the news so far for today. Let me know what you're going to do. What do you think of the Hydra thing? What do you expect coming from Call of the Arbiter? And um, yeah, also... Are you going to be pulling for this ancient event? Like I said, I'm not. I'm going to be saving for the weekend. But let me know what you're going to do. I'll see you all soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.